Et yo tout le monde c'est Crone et bienvenue sur Manuel Samuel ça fait longtemps que je, je ne vous avais pas fait de let's play euh, Là j'ai envie de vous faire vraiment euh, toute une série sur ce jeu un peu euh, cinglé Parce que c'est le cas de dire c'est un jeu qui est cinglé Donc euh, ce jeu est à 9,99€ sur Steam Il est jouable avec le Steam Controller ou avec toute autre manette hein, Il suffit de la configurer euh, Le jeu a été développé par Perfectly Paranormal et édité par Curve Digital Donc Manuel Samuel donc c'est Manuel, Samuel, est un jeu d'aventure au gameplay diablo, diaboliquement original. Après avoir conclu un marché avec la mort, notre héros pour y gâter, Samuel, doit survivre 24 heures manuellement. Donc respirer, cligner des yeux, conduire, etc. etc. A vous d'effectuer toutes ces actions. Donc euh, hein, pour dire que ça va être compliqué. Donc euh, voilà, c'est pas facile. Surtout avec la mort qui se tape l'incruste. Vous allez être dans le caca. Donc les fonctionnalités, c'est une histoire hilarante d'amour, de rédemption et de mort avec des secrets à découvrir. Quoi comme secret, je n'en sais rien du tout. Donc vous avez des animations et des graphismes en 2D dessinés à la main. Et vous pouvez jouer en solo ou partager le contrôle de Sam avec un ami dans un mode coopération déjanté. Donc si un ami à vous a aussi ce jeu, vous pouvez jouer à deux. Ce qui est plutôt pas mal parce qu'à mon avis, on se tape quand même des sacrés délires à deux. Hein <rire> c'est clair. Hein allez, on va lancer le jeu donc là vous avez le mode coop ou le mode un joueur, bah on va faire un joueur, par contre je ne vais pas parler parce que c'est écrit, les sous-titres sont en français et il y a une voix off qui sera en anglais, donc je vous laisse euh, écouter tout ça et lire en même temps. Allez, let's go Our story begins in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier called Sam... Oh, uh, we're not doing that Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon that represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his parents. And their butlers. And their butler's parents. You're a douche, aren't you, Sam? Blink twice if yes. <laughs> He can't hear me. This is Sam's girlfriend, also not being heard by Sam. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, produced by his large wealth. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine Head. or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. <rire> elle lui a bien défoncé la gueule à coup de bouteille, elle lui a cassé la mâchoire. <rire> Donc allez, il faut que je me lève. OK. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Donc là, il ne sait plus comment marcher. Alors il va galérer. Hop. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam. OK. You're very good at existing. Donc, allez, on avance. How dare you startle my child? An overprotective mother hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold. Oh, gee. Click, click. How is our son going to become a respected politician if he can't fend for himself? I thought he was going to become an actor. Oh, what's the difference? Donc OK. Donc euh, il faut que je continue à marcher. OK. Allez. Sam remembers the one thing he's good at. Paying for stuff. So he turns around to pay for his beverage. Ah, il est défoncé le mec. <rire> OK, LB. Sam pays le gars 500 euros, barely covering the coffee. Thanks for the tip, douchebag. Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy, 
Not such a douchebag after all. Sam is hurling stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. Sam is about to spend his whole weekly allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. He really was hit hard in the head. Holy feces. I'll just start my own coffee shop. Once again, Sam makes someone quit their job by tipping them too much. Ah ouais, tu m'étonnes. Bon allez, on se casse nous aussi. Alors le petit, c'est pas comme ça qu'il de, qu deviendra politicien ou acteur. En jouant à la console, il va plutôt devenir youtubeur, je pense. <rire> Alors, on va ouvrir la porte. Sam spends a decade making his way out the door, which is pretty good for a guy with a major concussion. As Sam waggles outside. He sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. This is when a septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The impact renders him eight types of dead. Wow, he meurt huit fois quand même. Elle lui gerbe, elle en peut plus là. <rire> Donc on va passer, c'est la présentation des créateurs. Who cares who worked on the game? Just skip to the action. Who knew a bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam? But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. There's also the ground <laughs> in here. Eh, il leur propre la gueule. <laughs> Allez, les, on se lève. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Then he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel ah, ouais, ouais, ouais. Ah, attention chute de cadavre. Horrible sound he's hearing. Not the horrible sound of the scream. The source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction. The end. Decease and demise, the Grim Reaper, dead. He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. In his coarse, horrifying voice, he lays this on Sam. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the Inf I was provided. Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. Holy Faces, dude, your soul be like a diamond. Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. For reals? Aight, man, it decided. The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency, followed by quality of life, school of life. Sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. If you give me your shreds, I'll resurrect your face and get you out of hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Sam decides to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. Allez, on va visiter le reste. Hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. For most people, this is okay. But for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his shreds at death 
like he's never hurled piles of money before. On va voir s'il n'y aurait pas un secret par hasard. On ne sait jamais. Et apparemment, il n'y a pas grand-chose. <rire> On va les laisser passer pour voir. Ok, alors attendez voir. Donc non, il n'y a rien à faire par ici, donc là, y a, je pense qu'il n'y a, a pas de secret. Ok, bon. On va aller lui donner les tranches, voilà. Il s'appelle Sam has just traveled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. This is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, yeah, you look horrible. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you hear me? Um, blink twice if yes. Alors faut cligner des yeux. Oh cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. Hey, right, so this here be the deal in this. All your body functions be manual. So you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. Bah là il devient un peu rouge maintenant là quand même. Ok. Alright, bitchin. You be blinking and breathing, that be bitchin. So, alright. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if you need me. Oh là là, pendant 24 heures. Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. Donc à savoir que les respirations que je suis en train de faire, c'est moi qui les fais hein, manuellement avec le A et le B. Et il faut aussi que je me lève. <rire> Alors c'est dur. Oh. You be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kick flip now. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. He decides to blink. Ouh la 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 la. Let's see. Yeah. Ça va être compliqué parce qu'il faut tout gérer Sam et. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Quick, 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 quick. Ouais. <rire> Allez, on avance comme ça. <rire> <rire> oh là là, un jeu de malade. Euh, il faut aller en face, mais moi je vais vous laisser là-dessus. Donc si vous avez envie que je fasse la suite de, euh, du jeu là, et qu'on et qu avance euh, dans les épisodes, vous avez qu'à mettre des likes, hein, un maximum de likes. Oui, 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 je cligne des yeux, oui, oui, oui. Vous avez, mettez un maximum de likes, partagez un maximum cette vidéo, et je vous ferai la suite. Sur ce, moi je vous laisse ici, et je vous dis à la prochaine. Allez, ciao